Masonic Jew 2000, I just watched your video, and I must say, it made me ill. 37 years of doing broadcasts on television and radio, I have met people like you before. I've interviewed in his house the head of the satanic movement. I interviewed the acting leader, the imperial wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. He did not wear sheets over his face. I even talked to Malcolm X, sat within three feet of him, looked him right in the eye. Perhaps the high points of my broadcast career were to tell those people that they were walking the wrong path. So I've given great thought to how to respond to your hateful video you've placed here. The low point of my broadcast career involved this note which is written within my journal. I spent an hour looking for it. And I think my best way of responding to your video would be to read this letter. We were in Seattle. Mutual news was ending. I looked at the telephone banks. There were eight lines flashing. I looked at the computer screen. I saw that the calls that were coming in were going to talk to me about the Washington public power supply system and what it would do to an old lady and her electric bill. I saw another call that wanted to discuss the president and why he sucked. Now, on those eight lines, there were two calls that wanted to tell gay jokes. For some sick, strange reason, perhaps because I didn't know any gays except one and he was hundreds of miles away and would never hear the broadcast, I had been allowing gay jokes on my program. The producer, just as we are coming from the news back to on the air, the producer brings in a letter and he lays it on the desk in front of me. He never does that. I thought it strange. So I thought about going to the calls, but instead I picked up the letter and I started to read it without giving any thought, without ever even thinking to pre-read the letter. Here's that letter. I spent an hour looking for it in my journal. Dear Mom and Dad and Steve, I know you have been very proud of me. I love you. And being a twin to you, Steve, has brought me much security. The gift of never being alone. I love you, Stephen. And mother and dad, there's nothing I can say with words for your caring and your love, except I will always love you. A's on a report card, a bird on my scout uniform, and the cross, the altatari day, are useless this morning. I have always wanted to please you, and maybe I hope there is meaning in rebirth and born again, and maybe I'll come back and not be a fag. Love, Donnie. I just sat motionless, trying to grasp what I had just read. I looked to the door, and my producer said, It's a suicide note. He hung himself. I will tell no more gay jokes. Never again. And you know what? You can take that board and shove it up your... <laughs>
Gonna reap the fruit of the seed that you've been sowing. Well, what you gonna say to the Lord that day when he asks you that you've been growing? Will you say hope is a growing? That's what I planted. Hope is a growing. That's what I planted. Started spreading all around. Watched it fill this little town. Yes.